The Giat M621 20mm cannon is a French design commonly mounted on vehicles, light aircraft and small patrol vessels of the French Navy, with younger variants the M623 and M64 being part of the main armament system of larger naval vessels. It fires at 1000 metres per second for armoured piercing and 985 metres per second for high explosive incendiary at 750 rounds per minute with an effective range of approximately 2 kilometres or 2,000 metres. The Gazelle can carry 240 rounds and each one of those rounds is the size of your hand. Now it can also carry 8 SNEB 68mm direct fire unguided rockets really used for area effect more than anything else and although the Gazelle can carry these weapon systems it's not really recommended to use the gazelle as a direct engagement weapons platform it's simply two lighter aircraft it only needs one or two rounds to hit the outer fuselage and that's pretty much game over for you okay welcome to part five of this five part video series for the gazelle in this one we're going to be covering the uh, gun, the cannon, the 20mm Jait cannon and the SNEB 68 rockets. We're not going to be covering the minigun uh, for all intents and purposes pretty much useless unless of course you were using this on a mission to perhaps uh, cover a specific choke point or whatever but really in the sim it's useless. Um, some would argue that so is the cannon and the rockets on the gazelle. Uh, not very accurate um, you can use the Atheon site, which we have um, loaded. Um, that's, of course, not the Vivienne site. The Vivienne has got infrared. So uh, here we are, a couple of Ks down that way of four vehicles. Let's see whether we can take them out. Uh, weapon system is very simple, really. Uh, we'll leave Master Arm off for now. Um, but essentially down here, uh, down here, we've got our weapons arming panel, our weapons panel. To simply turn that to on and we've got two numbers left hand side is eight rockets which correlates to the left hand side of the aircraft as we're sitting in it and to the right 240 rounds of this case 20 millimeter armor piercing master arm switch is here uh, which we're going to arm now we're going to arm both of them but actually if you do arm both of them then the cannon will always take priority and it doesn't automatically flick over uh, to give you authority with uh, the rocket so uh, pointless really so you might as well keep it on safe and uh, I've not been able to get the ripple and single fire working it seems to me, no matter which one you have it on it's only going to fire one rocket at a time when you do fire so that's all you've got to do really um, and then of course uh, flip your master arm switch to on which of course is uh, here and then at that point then the weapons are ready to go but as we can see even if we master arm on the ground they will not fire until we lower the HUD and you've got to be able to lower the HUD in order to fire right I'll put my control indicators up so you can see them let's go find these uh, let's go find these trucks as ever very gently on the gazelle Uh, we're going to be going in this direction. There we go. Now I have turned the labels off, so uh, let's see whether we can find them. I'm pretty sure I'll put them in a in a field away now. So let's put our our weapons our, our HUD down and have a look at the site picture. Um, I can't give you any information with regards to the site picture and how best to use it put the thing on the thing is the advice i'll give you there's our targets in the distance there let's see whether we can zoom into them there they are maximum range is about 2k's on this i'd query that absolutely i would query that uh, so this is very much a putting the thing on the thing put the dot on your target area uh, on your your uh, on your target and squeeze the trigger. Uh, lots of guys out there, Red Kite, Grim Reaper, so on, have done some great videos on mapping, so I won't be covering any of that today. And this is just to finish off the five 
video series. There's our targets there. We run in on those in a nice straight line, couldn't we? These are radio control targets. No no firing back on us today, which is just as well. This is a light attack helicopter. If you're going to be doing runs in missions on uh, enemy vehicles at this sort of range, well, you're a fool. Um, <laughs> you're not going to... You're not going to last very long, are you? There we go. Nice and nice and level on we go. So, all we're doing is putting the thing on the thing. Let's give it a go. Sounds great, doesn't it? And, you know, I would strongly advise... You, you, you do use this as an area effect weapon. But 240 rounds don't last long. I think that'll do us. Let's extend out a bit. Let's trim that into position there. And then as ever, of course, it's, let's uh, change now to our rockets. Round she comes. Same trigger for the rockets. Put the thing on the thing. And you can see that they are greatly affected by your slant angle. But I think that was enough actually to make a bit of an impact there. Yeah, I think so. So let's, uh, let's extend to the northwest. And we'll flick to uh, we'll flick to our guns again. We got fifty six rounds. We're Winchester on the rockets. We can see that by the zero there. And uh, what we'll do is we'll just come around for another final run, and then that'll be it. Up she goes. Leave her alone. She'll turn. Pop some flares out, and let's go in for a final run. And there we go. We are now Winchester. So there we go, guns and rockets, very, very simple on the Gazelle, lots of fun with them. My only real criticism really is that it's such a light helicopter, it can't really carry any more than it's loaded with on the round side of things, 240 20mm rounds, I mean that's uh, that's enough to ruin anyone's day. Um, but I would strongly advise against using uh, the Gazelle against even light armour, you only need a couple of rounds hitting you and that's it. And the rockets really our um you know area effect i mean i used eight rockets there you you probably could take out vehicles with one rocket and so on but i wouldn't recommend it you know the gazelle lends itself to scout work and reconnaissance work and uh that's about where it where it ends so thanks very much for joining me for this series look out for other series in the dcs world until next time take care then bye bye